a paper company ship sank around here. Perhaps you can help me sniff out a story, maybe a gummed up print press. And that is a new diving bell quest and let's do that. Let's see where we need to, to go for that. Oh, actually we get a special symbol this time now for the quest here. So yeah, it's somewhere over here. We probably can even see it as far as I can see. Over here somewhere that we have that quest that we need to do there. Perfect. And the ship is now on its way doing just that. Meanwhile, what we've done now, or what we've achieved now, is we have a steady income of steel. And steel is something we need for, well, the sewing machines that we need, and also the canned food. No, actually for the canned food we need the iron ore, but for the sewing machines we have the steel now. And I want to start with that production, and for that I think we're going for a new city somewhere, a, a smaller new village that is kind of delivering the sewing machines then to my main city. We don't have that much free space anymore when I look around here. You know, we have some reserved area like this one there. We have the Riverlands over there. And well, we've got something up here if we want to do it here. Or, since it's the sewing machine factories, I rather prefer to have it here. So this is where we are going to have a new, well, village or city or whatever. And for that reason, we're starting here once again with a marketplace. First of all, we need some houses. And yep, I'm going for this layout there again. From time to time. I'm not only doing that layout now, don't worry. But I still like it as a beginner layout to have it just here. So it's like four blocks of that. And of course we need to leave the middle open because that doesn't have a street connection there. And then we just have streets around it. And then we have a marketplace over here. Somewhere. I'm probably going to move it again or have to move it at some point. Since we need some other buildings there probably. And yep, yeah, there is the location for that quest. So let's dive down there and see what we can find. Machine learning, gummed up printing press hopefully. Something like that. And nope, it's special scrap. So it's the highest um, level of scrap that you can find really cool we, we can we can craft legendary items with that but I've got lots of scrap I'm going to remove that scrap there those three tons I don't need it and I've got way too much of that and not so much space here on my salvager so let's continue this direction somewhere over there we have the next location and it's getting smaller now as you can see and it's getting smaller still. So many echoes around here. An echo from this side here, and there's the next diving bell location. Let's have a look at that. Another special scrap. Okay, I'm, I'm not complaining about that. We probably need to get over here now. So there could be the next the next location for that. Alright. I do like those diving bell missions though. Gotta say that. I do like them. Next up would be yeah, the village over here, of course. We shouldn't stop here. What I also need right away is a fire station once again and a pub. I'm probably going to have the pub here somewhere. I still need to place my buildings there. Probably can have two blocks here. Yeah, perfect. That's fitting. for the next village and of course this is a more organized village now since we have factories here so it's not a little fisher village anymore you know so there are educated workers and artisans working there so it definitely has to look like something we could have a just here beside the marketplace we could have a little park perhaps so let's have a look there a park with a fence probably yes let's have a park with a fence i think that's the engineers yep and there we have then some round corners. Let's see that it is symmetrical. We also want to have a gate just there. Very good. And then going up here like five. I think five is a good one. Up to this point here and also here another corner. So we close it off. A nice looking park there. And right, what does a park need? Probably a gazebo or something like that. Gazebo Plaza would fit in here now. 
why not? Let's have the gazebo in there. And then we can have something like, hmm, I like I like the idea of a chess table in there so people can play some chess if they want to. And of course, we need some benches there too. So let's have a some benches here on the... Here on the corners. And where was the chess tables again? That is always the question with that. With the piazza benches there. Oh, it's always that question here. Was it with the farmers, actually? Yeah, it was with the farmers. There's the chess. So, a chess on either side. People can play something there. And we can finish this one off here with some apple trees on that side here. That looks romantic. Grass here in the middle. Perhaps um, two more apple trees there. And a flower bed, a little one. There it is. Uh, that's a nice looking park there. People can come and play some chess or just enjoy the nature around it. And of course around this park we have a street again. And then we can continue here with some more houses. Another block here. And yeah, let's have another block like this one here. And actually let's move the pub over here to the park. And then we can have another block buildings here. Alright, and in the middle there we have some apple trees surrounding that with mm, probably... Should we have something in the middle there? So we don't only have apple trees everywhere. I like how the, the, the trees plop up there. Alright, and then we have something like... Yeah, let's have a bench there in the middle can just sit there you know of course only the people living around in those buildings there and yeah you can just enjoy the day there in the middle while being in the middle of the city or in this village there and of course the main reason why we've built the city still missing and that's the sewing machine factories they're coming up over here and for this reason since at some point probably I'm going to have them electrified since you know we need those we need the electricity. That is going to be a major problem though in the future. So having such a huge city here, transporting the oil to the power plants, that's going to be a challenge. We definitely need way more rail tracks for that, railways for that. So not only one going around, you know, that's just way too huge of a distance. We need more direct railways then. And that's going to be a challenge for sure. But we're not there yet. First, we need the, hmm. It's a problem. So the railway could be coming from here, going up here, and then into this district there. You know, this is going to be where we have the sewing machine factories. Right, so here we could have the power plant here somewhere, and then have the sewing machine factories around that. So we need a warehouse for that. All right, and around that we have some sewing machines factory so I th I'm thinking about having two oh it doesn't fit and right, then let's build it like that that should work very good so we have three let's make it four okay so those are the blocks for the workers here and yeah, we can already upgrade them. So that's also something I want to do here since we need workers, of course. And they are going to work there. And they should now be getting the goods there. Right, we need lumber though. So lumber is something we can definitely do on Crown Falls too. Perhaps something far away. Perhaps something here, yeah. Where it's a bit greener around it. So lumber check huts, of course, make the area greener still. And what I can see is there's also clay pits here that we definitely want to use. Okay, probably there and hmm. That's the going price for contraband. 
where else should we do that? Here in the in the mountainous area, probably. Yeah, we do have some space here that we can use. So here we should have some lumberjack huts in addition. So two more. Probably a good idea there. And let's also upgrade that warehouse there since we need it. And whoops, we have another propaganda and it's looking good this time. It was rather greenish. That's perfectly fine. And let's have a look at my goods there. Everything seems to be full for now. Very good, very good. Yeah, and we're getting the sewing machines in now too. So, you know, my artisan should be really happy. And the quest needs something else. And the quest needs the six tons of flour. You know, the binding document there. But before we do the quest... Oh, busy, busy times here. We have another diving spot here for our salvager. Let's also have a look at that. And we found it, scummed up printing press. And let's deliver that to old Nate. He's waiting there and we probably get something out of it. Yeah, $41,000. And I have sent my, I sent my, yeah, my mm -hmm. battle cruiser because the battle cruiser is going to deliver me some flowers to Crown Falls that we need for the quest there, for the other one. So two quests are being completed now. Just need to wait there a bit. And right, I can upgrade now the village up there. Perfect. To have some workers there. At least those blocks here should be workers. Perfect. And I do like that park here. Beautiful park there. Just beside the pub. Right, and we're producing some jolly good sewing machines. Oh, I'd rather not increase production there. Perhaps we have something. I think we do have an item for sewing machines. Wasn't it like that? Sewing machine productivity 40% increase the cutting edge. So that needs a trade union that we should have here, which costs 20 influence once again. So expensive. We could use it here actually, or here. No, rather here. Where we have everything in there. So once we have the influence, we could do that. And that was the quest. Old Nate is happy. And let's also unload the flowers. And now we can do this binding document main quest there. One is no dunce-hatted imbecile. But I rather think we'll need a class swatrington to decipher this. A university with a budding college of paleographers to decipher Nadaski's shameful handwriting. Oh, it's a really challenge, that journal, it seems. And we need to build a university to retrace history. While Nadaski's journal is being restored, the Queen wants you to establish a university in the region. Its scholars should be able to de help decipher the journal's contents. Oh, I wonder what's in that journal, though. Seems to be really hard to decipher everything there. Um, Artisans is university perfect. So we do have the possibility for the university now. And yeah, somewhere here in the center might be a good idea then. Let's get some more artisans, shall we? That city is looking way oh, too workish. Oh yeah, it needs lots and lots of timber though. Let's see, this is probably going to be... Ah, what the heck, let's just upgrade them. I'm thinking way ahead here. I'm thinking about the power plant, you know, so I don't want to upgrade buildings that I'm going to remove again. But no, it's not coming to that for now. Um, and yeah, I want to have a little park here somewhere. This is looking way too many buildings there. We do have the church here. Another church here. So we are going to have the university here somewhere. And the university is going to need a little park there too. So I'm thinking about this spot here for the university since that is really central. And once we have the brick street, um, it should go all the way down there. Actually, let's try it out. Let's have a brick here, a brick street. Let's start with that. At some point, we need to start with the brick streets anyway. And it's going to be a lot of work placing all those bricks. All those paved streets here, because that city is huge already. And it's only getting bigger. So the sooner we start with that, the less painful it will be, I guess. And we have a little spot here that I want to use too. There we can have a little... Hmm, let's see. A little fountain garden. Yeah, why not? And perhaps, perhaps some apple trees. Very good. Having a little garden in there. And right. So we have some paved streets there. Now let's have a look. 
how the university would fit in. Yeah, look at that. So when the paved, the streets are paved, it goes deep green all the way down there. So a university here might be a good idea. At some point, we could have one over here too, you know, so it fits all of it. And then some other university up there. But, or here, this also looks good. Hmm, it's a difficult choice. Or have it here and then the park here. No, actually we can have it here because it's it's still green there. Let's have a university there. Let's get rid of those buildings there. Because of course we also want to have a little university garden. So here we have the university. Have my loyal subject returned. Which is also the quest. Let's oh, finish the quest there. And you thank your expert bots at the university for all their brio. The first page is illegible. Let's have a look at that. The first few pages of the journal and are a first-hand account of the naval battle at Trelawney. It's evident Nadaski didn't think much of the king's strategy. The log also hints at the compass bearings at which you may find the scepter. Okay, so the Eye of War. Read Nadaski's journal. Oh, we have to read it. Now I just need to find it. Read Nadaski's journal, but where is it? There it is. Oh my. Following the king's commands to intercept Admiral Silver's flotilla, we arrived at Cape Trelawney at 1 p.m. La Corona's entire armada is here, the flagship especially, being of imposing size and might. Such a disproportionate es escort suggests that our informants were correct. They must be transporting the scepter of Capone that our king is seeking. The Corona's fleet is vast in terms of size and number, but ours is staffed with seamen both seasoned and loyal. We have a chance of winning a decisive victory against the enemy here at Trelawney, but not if we fixate on recovering the scepter, as the king is insisting. I admit taking the talisman would greatly damage La Corona's national spirit, but what of our own when a thousand or more sailors are sent to their deaths for a trinket? No, we must have no other thought than employing the very best tactics to win the day. And since the king will no longer leave the safety of his fortress atop the cliffs, we may be able to blame the fog for not complying with his signals. There were a few other incidents today. At 3 p.m. we intercepted two enemy gunboats and ran them aground between two small islands to the southeast, with cliffs like two guard docks facing one another. At 4.30 p.m. we discovered a frigate bearing the emblem of La Corona, What's smuggling sure? crates out of the pirate cove in the spiral-shaped cluster of islands that lie due east. Lastly, we had a skirmish with a ship of the line near an old watchtower between the three large islands due west. She sank with all her cargo. That is a good hint there, so I'm probably we're probably going there. Alrighty. There's a lot of story in this one this time. And right, we have um, the skirmish the, near an old watchtower between the three large islands due west. So due west, three large islands. There should be a watchtower somewhere. I don't know. Is it really here? Game saved. I don't see any watchtowers here though. Oh, there it is. There's the watchtower and there we have the location that we need to find first so it's actually marked on the map anyway and right let's get our salvage over there and see what we can find there where the ship sank back then Much to be thankful. and while the ship is on its way we still have a garden to construct here so here we have the university beautiful building with the observatory over here watching the stars and right, let's see what we can do here. First of all, probably need a brick street here, paved street there. So the un university definitely needs a paved street. And then we can have, hmm, let's see. Definitely with a fence, I'd say. Since in the middle of the, of the city, we want to have a fence all around here. Alright, the ship has arrived at the location, so we're going for that soon. 
let's just finish off here the park. So let's have... We could actually have two fountain plazas here at either side. And then we have something like, hmm, some bench. No, we have benches there in the fountain plaza anyway. Perhaps a stature in the middle there. Very good. Your people are rioting. Some flower beds here. And... Doesn't say where the riot is though. And patch of grass here in the middle. Uh, looking good. Perfect for a day way off when you don't have to study or something. Just in front of the university there. Beautiful. And now we have a park on this side here too. Yep. I like it how every park looks a bit different, but they, I think they all look good. I mean, it's smaller parks, you know. We're going for a big one anyway at some point too. And, right, I didn't want to send my bell cruiser over there. What? Why is my bell cruiser over there? Let's get the salvage over there and see what that location beholds. Very good. And while my salvager hopefully is on its way now, let's check it. Yeah, salvage is on its way. Let's continue building. So we have that little village over here, which is also looking pretty cool. Right, let's have some, whoops, some blocks here once again. Very good. That kind of has the same style now, that city here. And I think it fits that one nicely. And then we have some more workers there. And yep, a nice little village there that we have now just beside the sewing machine factories. Overlooking the valley kind of. And then we continue over here to the kind of like, what is this actually? Yeah, there's some, it's farmer and workers here. You know, we got some mines here up there on this little village there. And then the main city is still growing and yeah, let's upgrade some more buildings here while we're at it. So we have some more workers over here. And also some more artisans just around the university. Beautiful. Very cool. Perfect. And yeah, we should also continue still with paving the streets it's going to take us quite some time so I'm going to do it step by step always just a bit and at some point it's going to be completed then and of course we're going to leave the middle there for the railways that we're going to have there at some point let's go all the way up here and what I like is that the paved streets don't need as many bricks anymore as in previous Anno games so I think in and of 1503 was really, really expensive. Like, holy moly, you need so many bricks. And now they reduced it definitely. So you can build way more streets. And, well, I guess you need that too, since this, the cities are much bigger. Right, my salvager should be here now. Let's dive down there and see what we find. Oh yeah, we got something. The Rod of the Scepter of Capone. Where is the Grand Eagle at its top? This is but a portion of the Rod. Oh no, it's not the complete one. And let's get it back to Crown no Falls. Great secret, then. We are both looking for the Holy Scepter of Capone. Among other things. The Saint thought it clever to split our national treasure and the Scepter across three different ships. But with the Scepter dismantled, Okay. Doesn't seem to be too happy about it. The people celebrate your leadership. Where's the marketplace here? Oh, over there. So we should be able yeah, to build those houses now.
And let's also have a smaller entrance here again with that valley. I really like that and some apple trees around here. And then we go into that park here. Where we have some patches of grass and a bench, of course, where people can sit. And the same thing over here. Here we can actually have some flower beds. It doesn't need to be looking the same all the time. Very good. And then we can also upgrade some more buildings again. Hmm. Yeah, let's get over here. More workers over there. And my ship has arrived. So let's unload the scepter. Deliver the art to the restorers. And the newspaper, I need to do that. Looking, actually looking good. So we only need one there. And what is it? There it is. Art restorer. Rapture. Rejuvenation. We've just received the final versions of the next few pages of the journal. Be gentle with them. The ink is still fresh. And we need to read the next entry of the journal. And we're doing that in the next episode. Stay tuned. Keep the lower classes down and 